Welcome back to Dr. Brew's lab and today what we'd like to do is talk a little bit about water quality as it pertains to brewing your favorite beverage whether that's coffee or whether that's tea or other things you might combine with water uh, to make a good tasting product. Water quality is really quite simple. We hear of things of, you know, is it clear? Does it smell good? Does it taste good? And really, if your water has an off odor, has an off taste, you probably don't want to use it in your brewing product. So almost always we're going to have some sort of water treatment where we at least have a sediment and an activated charcoal filter so that we remove things like chlorine that the municipality puts in so the water is potable, but their job is not to make it taste good. So if you want that chlorine back note to leave from your green tea or your favorite coffee, uh, you need to at least filter your water through an activated charcoal filter. When it comes to water quality, basically water is pretty simple. A couple hydrogen and an oxygen combined together to make water. But water is commonly referred to as a universal solvent. Everything it comes in contact with from the sky on down, it wants to become part of and collect up. One of the reasons water quality is so important in our beverages, in your average cup of coffee, only about 1% of what we love and enjoy as that beverage is coffee flavoring material. 99% of that beverage is the water we poured through it. We should always treat our water with at least an activated charcoal filter and sediment reduction. That way we end up with the flavor we wanted out of our coffee and not that chlorinated swimming pool back note that we may get if we don't remove that product. So water quality not only has to do with just pure water, but also its taste. Uh, we do want a little bit of mineral content in our water that we brew for coffee, somewhere around uh, three to seven grains of hardness or a grain of hardness is equal to like 17 parts per million dissolved mineral content. To kind of relate that, water that you buy for drinking water is oftentimes a mineral water or a spring water. If you've made the mistake of buying distilled water for your emergency supply of drinking water, uh, if you drank it, it's not gonna hurt you, but it doesn't have that clean, crisp taste that normal spring water or mineral water does. Uh, it's great for using in the iron because you don't have spots on your clothes, but it's not the best for brewing practices. If our water is maybe what they call hard water, uh, where it is in excess of seven grains hardness, we may want to treat that water with a softener to remove part of that mineral product. Generally, if you don't remove it, you may notice lime buildup at the tips of the faucet in your home or in the spray head area of your coffee brewer, and also that water will, if it's too hard, tend to under extract the coffee. Remember when we said water tries to dissolve everything and if it has too much mineral content, it's oversaturated and when it comes in contact with the coffee, it can't hold any more material so it doesn't dissolve it as easily and you don't end up with all the value out of your ground coffee. Softened water is generally run through a filtration system that has a salt charged or sodium charged resin and it collects the calcium and magnesium on the resin and emits a light form of sodium and you end up with a light coating effect from the water and that is great for tea it'll remove the hardness and you get nice clear tea but it can cause you brewing problems with coffee it will generally want to coat and float the granules of coffee rather than extract and sink Things that you can alter with that is grind a little coarser uh, so that your longer contact time as it's slowing down through the brew funnel doesn't affect it so much. But water quality, again, uh, you really go back to the basics. If it doesn't look good and it doesn't smell good, it likely won't taste good and you'll not get the value out of the products that you're wanting to enjoy. If you have a question for Dr. Brew, send it to dr.brew at bonomatic.com. We'd love to hear from you.